Question number 5 of the IT Password exam from Philnitz. In this question, we are being asked, when the procedure is completed, what is the resulting value of x? The procedure is supposed to be described below and should be sequentially performed for the two variables x and y. The procedure includes the steps that we need to follow to find out what would be the resulting value of x. For example, in this case, the first step is to assign 2 to x and 3 to y. On the right side of the screen, I put here some of the equivalent values from the sentences that we have in the procedure into equation form. So for example, when we assign 2 to x, I put here x is equal to 2. And when we assign 3 to y, I put here y is equal to 3. The next step says that we have to subtract 1 from the value of y and assign the resulting value to y. So when we put it in equation, it's y is equal to y minus 1. We know that y is supposed to hold the value of 3. So when we replace y here and make it 3, we have something like this. And then we have to subtract 1 from it. So that's why we have y is equal to 2, because 3 minus 1 is 2. The third step says that we have to add values of x and y and assign the resulting value to x. That means that x is equal to x plus y. We know that the value of x from the step 1, the first step, it has the value of 2. And from the second step, y is now 2. So that's why when we do x plus y, that is 2 plus 2. And that's also why we get 4. The fourth step says that if the value of y is 1, that's the end of the procedure. We've completed the procedure. Otherwise, we return to step 2. Here in this case, we're asking if y is equal to 1. But we know that y is equal to 2. So that's why we need to go back to the step number 2. For step number 2, what we need to do is subtract 1 from the value of y and assign the resulting value to y. That's why y is equal to 2 minus 1. And because 2 minus 1 is 1, we put that into the value for y. The next step is we add the values of x and y and assign the resulting value to x. That's why we have again here x is equal to x plus y. We know that the value of x is 4 and the value of y is 1. That's why we have here 1 plus 4 or 4 plus 1 in this case. That amounts to 5. Now we go to the fourth step, which is asking us if the value of y is 1, that means that we've completed the procedure. And we know that the value of y is already 1. And so we got here x is equal to 5 because that is the resulting value of 5 once we've done the procedure. And from there we got to look for the answer among the choices where among the choices is the number 5 and here we have for letter B, the right answer, the resulting value of x, which is 5.